Virgo, to your October love reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in love. It's almost Halloween time. I've changed the table around. Uh, yeah, so getting it ready. Okay, and best message coming out. And before you know it, it is Thanksgiving time. So, yeah, it's almost Thanksgiving. Very nice for those of you in the United States. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. This message coming out is, give us, give us a couple over here. I love this. It's talking about that hard work, productivity. I was a little bit of hard work over here when it comes to trying to, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn, um, but it does feel like this relationship is taking a lot of hard work, right? So having a few cards coming out here, let's see what we got here. We have the Judgment card, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Strength. So it's definitely talking about, you know, answering that call understanding the absolution that's going on within this situation. Is this a healthy situation? Is someone, you know, pointing the finger at, you know, at you? Do you need to point the finger back at yourself to say, you know what, maybe I need to do something different within this situation because this is maybe too much hard work waiting for this person to come back around. Um, it does feel like they have some um, self-care maybe that they need to take care of. Maybe you feel like they're too codependent and you would like to see them a little stronger. So I am seeing this that, you know what, I would like to see you a little stronger. Maybe you feel like right now they're being very weak, being over emotional about the situation. It does feel like there was something that went on. Um, and it does feel like, you know, maybe you do need to kind of point the finger back at yourself and say, oh, maybe I didn't take care of this the way maybe it should have went. Maybe I pointed the finger at them too much. And I didn't do what I was supposed to do. And this is why we were having this struggle, um, having the page of wands over here. Yeah, it does feel like, you know what, there could be some new ideas that could come together. Like maybe you guys need to focus on working more together, exploring maybe the feelings of one another, getting deep within the situation, looking at it from a new perspective, right? Traveling towards them because it does look like, you know what, there was some domestic harmony. This relationship is not going the way it is. Feels like there's some kind of struggle also when it comes to values, right? Um, and how everything is going downward. So we do have this broken family, broken relationship. Um, maybe they have done something to shatter the dreams within the situation. And it just feels like maybe I didn't do this. Maybe you guys shoved it under the rug too long and there wasn't enough communication. Didn't open up enough um, about the situation. And so it's taking it too long. Um, maybe it's also because you had this idea that maybe it was going to fix itself. And if you know it wasn't you, then it's definitely them. Maybe it's the both of you as well. Uh, but there is a lot of confusion when it comes to this relationship, right? Let's, it comes to them, it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, right? So let's see what's going on over here, what they're saying about the situation. It delays. It's almost like they are delaying this situation. I see what you're saying. It's, you know what, it's, take, it's taking a lot of hard work for them to come back around. Maybe that is exactly it. They're delaying it on purpose. Um, that's exactly what it says. They want to kind of do this again, but it feels like they are avoiding the situation. Um, they just don't feel like the hope is there the way it used to be. Um, we have the star in reverse, the excuse me, eight of cups in reverse and the hangman in reverse. So there's definitely some standstill. There is definitely some indecision about the way that they're feeling that this is going to go. Is there lack of control within the situation? Can they control their emotions? Because it's definitely saying over here as they're coming up as the queen of cups upside down that they do have some inner feeling problems, right? That they are maybe out of control emotionally. And it says, yeah, they feel like there is some lack of control and they feel like you are not maybe coming around as much as, you know, as they want is either. 
So I think you're both kind of at a standstill. I think you both are delaying this process. There's just been a lot of um, temptation, um, a lot of temptation when it comes to conflict. So it just feels like when you are together, maybe you do do a lot of arguing um, because nobody really wants to look at, you know, the bigger picture. Maybe there's a lot of name blame, pointing fingers. Um, when it comes to this situation, they see that too. They're saying this is this is kind of smothering. They feel like they're kind of smothered in some ways um, when it comes to this situation. Um, so definitely feeling like there's some you know false success over here. They feel like they're just this whole situation is kind of playing it small, right? They have the lack of foresight to say that this is going to come because they they don't they don't see this working out, and this is why they're not coming forward. They just feel like there is too much conflict. We have so many cards of conflict over here, a lot of arguing, a lot of disagreement about certain things because they're not on the same page. So whatever it is that was going on within your relationship, they feel defeated. And I feel like, you know what, you feel defeated as well, right? So there is a lot of disharmony in this relationship, right? And they don't see this actually coming back together anytime soon. Right, because there's just too much exhaustion, too much burnout. And I feel like you feel that as well. I would like to put that in the middle because I feel you both have this um, place where you both feel burned out, right? It's just feelings are down. This is not coming together. There's too many negative thoughts going on within the situation, right? So, and there is, there is a lack of commitment. And I feel like you feel like they're, they have that as well. And I, I just do feel like, uh, um, you know what? I don't know how that's going to go. I don't feel like we're going to get this together. There's a lot of bitterness going on um, and a lot of isolation. Bitterness and isolation at this time. So it just feels like everybody feels like there's a little, a little bit of defeat over here. Are they coming back around? No, they're going to delay it as long as possible because they don't feel like this is going to come together. Yeah, feeling, healing family issues. Your love life benefits you from forgive your, your parents, your partner, your loved ones. However, free yourself. So it is saying, you know what, maybe it is time to free yourself. It's time to take back some control within your life. Looking at what can go, you know, what can I do right can we heal this? Should we heal this? And it could have had a lot to do with a lot of deception going on, right? Where it just feels like because of this deception, there is a lot of bitterness. There is a lot of things that is going on within your life that isn't, you know, how am I going to take any of that control back? So it just feels like at this time, there is, um, yeah, the maturity level of, you know, you might even feel like their maturity level is lacking, right? You feel like they're being very immature about the situation. Maybe that's why you can't get back on track with someone when there's someone's acting, you know, childish, um, right? It could be you or them, right? Maybe you feel like both of you, you know, are having a little bit of an issue over here where it feels like, mm, I don't know what we're going to do. It just feels like a lot of finger pointing, Um that he said, she said for sure, right? So let's see what's going on. Clarify on the situation with a portal card. Yeah, the heart chakra. Unlocking with generosity. Things need to be said so that you can have a better power call over here. Things, you know, if you're going to do anything, you're definitely going to have to talk this out. But you're definitely going to have to, um, you know, have that sit down. You know, you have to have that sit down if you haven't had that. But it just feels like they don't want to do that. And I think that because they don't want to do this, this is what pushes you back, right? This pushes you back because you're saying you're not being mature enough to listen to what I want to say. You're not being an adult over here about this situation. Keep running away. But I think it's also because they're using their inner feelings. So you guys could be definitely dealing with a water sign who is, you know, um, got that push and pull could be definitely dealing with a, can a cancer over here or a Pisces who just does, you know, they're in lockdown mode, right? Or it could have a lot of water in their chart. Um, and like I said, if it's, uh, you know, if it's not them, it could be you. 
okay? But yeah, there definitely has to be some kind of power call. You're gonna have to, you know, get strong over here, um, right? And really just say, okay, that's it. We're gonna look at this from a different point of view, right? Because yeah, I see a lot of silence, a lot of silence coming this month when it comes to this situation. Nobody really wanting to open up. I just think that after a while, it's just, I think that at one time you had, yeah, thank you, Spirit. You had high expectations that, you know what, they were going to want to work with this. You know, you put out a hard, a lot of hard work and then, you know, and you're, it does feel like you're productively moving slow towards them, but they're saying, no, no, I don't want to have a reconciliation. No, I don't want to do anything. See, I don't want that. So it doesn't look like there's going to be any reconciliation for this time being, um, right? Either them seeing you not doing it or them not doing it. Like I said, this is general reading, so take it how it resonates. Um, but it does feel like, you know what? As time goes by, I do feel like you guys will open up a little bit, okay? Because there is going to be some kind of inspired action that is going to take place where someone is definitely going to, you know, kind of kick that bucket over and say, you know what? That's it. Or, you know, or you can even say roll that rug over because we're not pushing it under the rug anymore. So we're going to roll that sucker up, you know, and start dusting all that shit because there's no way we're going to do this anymore. Right. It needs we need to come clean about this situation if it's going to work. Right. So, OK, my friends, until next time, peace and love. Bye bye.